lakefront property if you haven't seen my video where i did an estimate on it, it just came out recently if you want to go back and look at it there's a link in the description to check that out i walked around showed you all the junk customer went for the price gave us a call and we are back here today so that's what today's video is about we're gonna get to it all right guys we're about to go inside as you can see they stacked it just like six foot of trash in here so we're just gonna have to put it in garbage cans and dump it but we can't really do the time lapse as well as i want until we get some of this cleared out but we're gonna get to it Being in this business, I didn't think anything would surprise me. This is pretty shocking. We just got this living room pretty much all cleared out, but we didn't really see over here. But yeah, they got more trash down here. I think there's a bathroom right there. And then there's stuff over there. Yeah, there's a kitchen over there. There's another bathroom over here. So that's disgusting. It smells terrible in here. Luckily, those rooms aren't too big. I don't know what's up there. I'm gonna have to go up there as well. Then there is like a little attic part over here too. Some stuff right there, some chairs. Who even knows what's up there? But we're gonna keep going. Hey guys, Mike with AM here. As you can tell, I'm completely filthy. We we're just finishing this job, and Autumn was on this job and she was giving you guys the intro, but she actually didn't come this final day to finish the job, so I'm gonna do the outro. Here it is. As you can see, we cleaned up all of this stuff. I mean, if you guys look back at her estimate video, you'll see just how much stuff was here. It was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what was the, what the situation was here, but as you can tell it looks good now and we leaf blowed off the decks and everything like that now if you remember there was a big spider web of crap right here you couldn't even get into this door and there was like a a greenhouse here a metal structure we got that um down here there was a refrigerator it's actually an outside shower which is kind of a cool feature um and back there there's like a valley going through there and that was all filled with trash too but we got all that the best part of doing these jobs is the finished product so if you remember I was literally shoveling trash off of these floors in here and now it's completely cleaned out and here there was a fridge and a stove there was like leaves in the drawers of those cabinets I don't even know how that happens up there in the loft there wasn't anything in here I didn't get any footage but there is a bathroom and there's a room but um there was just some mattresses and stuff. That wasn't too bad. This was the main area. It really, really smells in here. Here's another bathroom. And here's the last room. We got everything out, ripped the carpet out. The floors look pretty intact. He's gonna have to have somebody come, a cleaning company, and really get this stuff. We did what we could. And then in the backyard, here's the deck. And you can see the beautiful view of the lake. He's actually on like a probably 70 foot cliff here hanging over. But if it was mine, I would cut these trees so I can see the lake right off the uh, back 
deck there but man underneath this deck too if you guys look at the video there was so much stuff under here i pulled out dressers and shelves and all kinds of stuff and now that's all cleared up so that's good it ended up taking about four days to finish this and this is because it's an hour away from my house so i was only able to do like two loads a day and just there's no dumps around where i'm at or anything like that but yeah this was absolutely insane of a job but we charged a lot of money for this so it was actually worth it. I gave him my I don't want to do it price. And even when I was here, I still didn't want to do it. But now that it's all over and it's Friday, which is a good thing, you know, I can enjoy the weekend and have some money in my pocket. So feel free to leave a comment too about, you know, what you would have done in this situation. Would you have done the job? Uh, what do you think this guy's issue was? You know, why would somebody live like this? You know, whatever you want to ask, feel free to comment and we'll try to get back with you with that too. But yeah, if you guys like watching videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Have a good one.